hey, good morning, let's talk about this real quick. Misconfigurations are behind 65% of cloud security incidents. That's right, misconfigurations led by your administrative staff, but they don't have to be. We're gonna get into why they don't have to be. Let's take a look here. On the right side of this screen, we have monday.com overlaid with the NICE framework. If you haven't checked out the NICE framework, go check that out. We're gonna close LinkedIn. We're gonna focus on this. Misconfigurations don't have to hinder or stymie your business, your growth, none of that. What we have here is our teams, right? Our cybersecurity teams range from legal and advocacy through digital forensics, systems analysis, cybersecurity defense analysis, cyber operations, network services, program and project management, data administration, testing systems. But how do we bring all these people together, communicate with their very unique and different languages? How do we do that? right? With a centralized platform that identifies people's objectives, primary and secondary. If you can't convey your objectives and your scopes, you're going to have a hard time with your cybersecurity boundaries, with your cybersecurity programs. You're absolutely going to struggle. We don't have to keep struggling about defining roles, rules, responsibilities, and scopes because we already have frameworks. Frameworks should guide your software. So let's bring into what is test and evaluation doing? What are they doing today? It looks like we have myself on this, right? And here we can see where this person is located. We understand the work role that this person is assigned to being an exploitation analyst. I don't know anything about it. What does an exploitation analyst do? Let's dig in, right? We now know that they collect and identify access for collection gaps uh, through cyber collection and preparation activities. So now we understand what skills these people might need. And then we can ask them questions about their knowledge and abilities. So we see that this person's not supporting any director objectives, but we see that they're also working on development and email. If we needed to get something important to this particular team, we could come here and push an alert and that'll go across our messaging platforms and save us the time about having to write an email. So let's come back, right? Our test and evaluation, uh, we see their role, we understand the description of what they do, and we've assigned this person to controls. Controls, what does that mean? Something that they're responsible for, a scope of work. What is wireless access? I don't know, let's find out. Let's find out wireless access. We have the primary control. We have a description of the responsibility. We have discussion questions. And we also see that we have a lot of related controls that we have to consider. Additionally, we can share file with that uh, document, right? If I had some evidence that I wanted to share, I could share it right here, again, without having to send an email, without having to have a scrum master, without having to have project management, we're sharing those files. We can change our status, right? We're going to go ahead and select this control. We're going to set it as low priority. We're going to check that box too. This is for auditing later. And guess what? Our documentation has already occurred. Our documentation occurred about who updated it and where. How important is this? Super important because teams tend not to document when they're building their programs, when they're building historical analysis. We can define our requirements, estimate, design, implementation, and project timeline. Additionally, we can assign people to be responsible for this project based on their high-level roles. And if you don't know if it's the right fit, guess what? You can open this window and you can find out, is it the right fit? Should this person be doing it? And what's their current workload? right? So we're, we're at mass managing projects, delivering on time, scaling our communication, creating wonderful and functional documentation. And you can see here, this control validation status is selected. Two of two are selected. This tells me that at least this team is going and we can look over here. This team is starting to fail. Why? Let's dig into it. Oh, we see that that team has failed previous login notification. If you want to learn more, like and follow along.